Greetings. My name is Oshia Boyd. I'm editor of the Indianapolis Recorder newspaper and Indiana Minority Business Magazine. The Recorder is celebrating 126 years this year. We are happy to have been a part of the Indianapolis community for all this time, since 1895. Joining me, I have uh, Denisha Posey, Vice President of Diversity, Equity, and Belonging at Ivy Tech Community College. Danisha started her newly created position in April 2020. Today we are discussing innovation in Indiana schools. Welcome, Danisha. Hi, great to, ha great to be here, great to be here with Happy you Happy to be here with you. Yes. So let's get into it. Okay. We have a lot to talk about and not a lot of time. So tell me what role <laughs> Ivy Tech plays in the statewide conversation around workforce development, particularly, particularly as it relates to minority populations. Thank you for that question. Um, I believe Ivy Tech is vital in that conversation around workforce development. Um, one, as we just think about um, the, the gap that we have between what employers are saying that they need mm -hmm. um, in their businesses um, as we think about the workforce of today and then also the workforce of our future. And then as we think about the education attainment of Hoosiers across the state, um, there is a gap between those two things. So, Ivy Tech and other, um, whether we're talking about K-12 partners or other uh, post-secondary institutions, have to be a part of that conversation, have to be a part of the table with businesses, um, the government, um, social services, and again, education in that conversation. We cannot think about workforce development in our different silos um, as um, academics, what does academics believe um, mm -hmm. is, is needed in these different careers. We have to be working together. Um, as we've learned through the Lumina Foundation, they did um, a survey or they did a, a research project um, which determined that um, in order for Indiana to um, kind of close that gap, 60% mm -hmm. um, of all Hoosiers need to have um, some sort of post-secondary um, high demand, high wage uh, certificate credential. Um, and that can only happen if Ivy Tech is at the table. Um, so we have pledged to ensure that at least we um, are able to, to do 50,000 um, post-secondary credentials by 2025 in order for Indiana to reach that, that, that uh, skills gap. Um, and what we also know from the data is that um, our black and our brown Hoosiers have even less education attainment, uh, post-secondary um, education attainment than our white counterparts. So Ivy Tech is critical in that conversation to ensuring that all of our Hoosiers, regardless of who you are, where you come from, that you have access um, to those opportunities. Um, and as I think about um, what we're gonna be discussing in the conference, um, as it relates to workforce development, um, there are three really vital um, areas, um, skills, um, equitable um, employment practices, and um, well, I'll just touch on those two first, okay. right? So um, with skills, Ivy Tech has to be center of that conversation. Um, we, uh, you know, a lot of people think about Ivy Tech and they think about, you know, vocational programs. Mm -hmm. They think about mm -hmm. welding, um, things of that nature. But Ivy Tech is so much more than that. Um, we have um, amazing programs in infra information technology, mm -hmm. for instance. Um, our healthcare programs, especially our nursing program, is okay. one of the most... Um, highly coveted programs that we have in the state of Indiana. Um, as we think about our business uh, opportunities, we have um, particular majors are related to entrepreneurship um, that have been really integral and, and helpful for um, so many small businesses across the state um, and so many others. Um, so, you know, a part of that conversation is ensuring that folks understand that Ivy Tech is here for everyone, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, that there are so many opportunities that you can uh, receive from, from getting, whether it's a 18 month credential from Ivy Tech or a two year associate's degree, or even something um, shorter term than that, um, you can come and get those high demand credentials so that you can be um, in a position for a high wage and high demand uh, job related to, like I said from the beginning, what does the business industry say they need? What is government? Uh, what is the state, uh, local uh, community saying is needed in our, our workforce? Okay, so as I was listening to you, I'm thinking about Ivy Tech is like this best kept secret in Indiana. <laughs> but it's not, but it is. 
it, there's so much that you're that you said in that first question that Ivy Tech offers so much, and I think um, I don't know if sometimes the message is not out there for people. Like what Ivy Tech, the expansion of Ivy yeah. Tech is just ridiculous. You've grown. Ivy Tech has grown so much um, since when I was a kid, and even when I covered education. Um, back in the day <laughs> and just uh, p kids were going to Ivy Tech and it was like mm, you're going to Ivy Tech yeah. now it's like oh, okay you're going to Ivy Tech just in that little bit of time yes Ivy Tech has transformed can you talk a little bit more about the transformation and also when you talk about these high demand uh, jobs like what does that mean for people like what kind of sure. jobs are out there to people we want to get people into sure. to fill that gap sure thank you uh, Ivy Tech is Indiana's best kept secret and I hate that it's a best kept secret because we should not be a secret. Uh, we have over, a, we serve over 150,000 Hoosiers across the state every year in our programs. Um, 60,000 of which are high school students mm -hmm. that we serve every year. Um, we have over 7,000 employees across the state. So when I think about it being a secret, it shouldn't be a secret. We should be screaming from the mountaintops, you know, here we are, and this is what we can do for you. Um, we have so many um, amazing opportunities for folks. Um, one thing I'm thinking of in specific is um, a partnership that we uh, just founded really last year during COVID um, with uh, the Department of Workforce Development. Okay. And that program is called um, Next Level Hoosier Jobs. Okay. And uh, with this program, um, we were able to get in contact with tens of thousands really Hoosiers, unemployed Hoosiers that were filing for unemployment benefits through the mm -hmm. Department of Workforce Development during uh, our COVID crisis, um, that they were either unemployed or underemployed. Um, and we contacted them and said, hey, come to Ivy Tech, come get a credential for free. For free? For free. Okay. Through this partnership with <laughs> uh, the state government. Um, and so we had a list of the different programs that folks were able to, to take. And they weren't just any old program, right? Mm -hmm. These were programs that we've collectively decided, like I said from the beginning with you know being at the table, these are the jobs for today and these are the jobs for our future, right? As we think about um, what it means to be um, in the workforce here in Indiana. Okay. And so we had folks um, that maybe never attended college before, starting um, in our next level jobs programs and we had PhDs in our program. Wow, that says a lot. That were taking these classes and said, hey, I have a PhD in history, um, but I wanna take this time right now and get a certification in cybersecurity, for example, or some yes. other IT related course. That's a big one, right? Yes, because that is where our future is going, right? Mm -hmm. Information technology. Um, so, you know, having programs like that, having partnerships, um, and being able to reach as many Hoosiers as we can is what is so desperately needed. And so, you know, I hate to say we're the best kept secret. We shouldn't be a secret. Everyone should know about um, the important things that we do at Ivy Tech. Um, and so whether we're talking about these next level job programs or we're talking about just coming to Ivy Tech um, in general to, to get a certification or to get your associate's degree, Ivy Tech is the most affordable option um, than any other post-secondary institution in the state of Indiana. We're the largest post-secondary institution in the state of Indiana, and we're the largest singly accredited um, community college system in the nation, right? Okay. So, wow, <laughs> didn't know that. We cannot, we should not <laughs> be a secret to anyone. No, and when you say largest, that's because you have campuses all over the yes. state. We have 19 campuses all over the state. Um, a, a, very new one that we just opened or will be opening up uh, July 1 in Hamilton County. Okay. Um, 19 campuses. Was um, it Camp I? Plural. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but again, programs all across the state, um, lots of uh, online programming as well. We've all had to kind of uh, transition mm -hmm. during this COVID period mm -hmm. of determining, you know, how are we going to ensure that all of our students, no matter where they are, have access mm -hmm. to Ivy Tech. So mm -hmm. if they're not able to get to a campus, how are we able to ensure that they're still able to mm -hmm. access mm -hmm. um, you know, their, their courses? And so what we've developed is this hybrid model is of called Learn Anywhere. So oh, wow. if you're in a Math 101 course, for example, um, this week you might go into the classroom 
in front of your professor with your other classmates right there on the spot. And then the next week you might, you know, oh, I, I can't get a babysitter for my kids, you know. That's super I'm going convenient. to stay home, uh, watch the class synchronously at the same time as my, my uh, other students that are in the class, but I'm gonna do it from Zoom. Or the next week you're like, I can't get a babysitter, I got something else going on, L life is happening to me right now, I can't watch the class nor can I attend at eight o'clock when it's supposed to. I'm gonna watch the class afterwards, so asynchronously that third oh, that week is awesome. to make sure that I still get the information, I'm still um, on time with, with my studies. That is awesome because so many adults and not just adults, so many people need that. COVID has taught us that. Yes. Like we need those options because sometimes there are things going on and I need, like you said, you may have, you may not be able to get a sitter, you may have to go to the doctor, but I don't have to miss class. Exactly. You know, and it's like, why didn't we think of these things before COVID? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and that's the, uh, you know, as we think about being the community college for everyone, mm -hmm. we know that our, our um, average age of our students is 27. Okay. Right? So it's not, you know, necessarily that 18 year old that's coming straight out of high school. It's any and every one of us, mm -hmm. right? You could be um, a parent with kids. You could be a grandparent. You could be um, a working, uh, someone who's worked for 10 or 15 years and decided to come back to upskill. Um, so we have to ensure that we are catering really to everyone, mm -hmm. to, to the needs of, to, of any and all of our students. So that work um, anywhere model that modality has become so flexible and um, all of our students are just so appreciative of that because they can learn anywhere. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a student, but I'm appreciating it just because <laughs> I know the challenges of, and I, eventually I wanna go back to school at some point. So the flexibility, you know, just like, I don't have to be in the exactly. classroom. I can still work and, and still learn. And that, you know, that's very, that's very accommodating. Yeah, and that's a part of that innovation that we talked yes. about. Like, how do we ensure that we are on the cutting edge, really, mm -hmm. of everything that's happening? Um, you know, a lot of times when you think of um, higher ed institutions, they're always behind the eight ball on a lot mm -hmm. of things. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that we are innovative, that we're at the front, that we are the cutting edge, that we are working directly with mm -hmm. our um, employer partners, our community partners, government partners, everyone, uh, to make sure that we're doing what's needed for the community. That is awesome. That is really awesome. And so that leads me to programs, mm -hmm. programs and initiatives for high school students that Ivy Tech has, um, and the recent high school graduates. And we want to talk a little bit more about cost because yes. we want to really hit on how affordable Ivy Tech is. Yes. Um, so yeah, tons of programs and initiatives. Again, like I said, we have 19 campuses across the state. So many of our campuses are doing lots of different things, but I'll just highlight a couple of things that we're doing collectively as a system. Um, this year, we uh, will be starting a brand new program called our Summer Bridge Program. And uh, we're doing this in collaboration with the Commission on Higher Education. Okay. And the focus here is to ensure that we are getting our high school students college ready. So we are offering a free course for all college graduates, right, to ensure that they're college ready this summer. They'll take this- Say that um, again, free? A free course this summer. <laughs> I'm, and I'm talking about your, your tuition, your fees, your books, all of that is covered in this, what we call an IVYT course, IVYT, um, which is kind of one of those um, uh, explore, uh, exploratory courses okay. that you take. Okay. So in this class, we want to ensure that students are ready for college mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, if they're ready to start in the fall, for example. Okay. Um, and so this program, we're reaching out to, I think we said 35,000 students. Wow. Or maybe more than that. Um, but we want to ensure that at least 4,000 high school students take advantage of this program. Again, you can do this from home. This is this can be virtual or this can be on campus, um, depending on what's uh, most important for you in the moment. Um, so we want to ensure that we are bridging that gap mm -hmm. between high school and college. That um, our high school students are college ready when it's time to take on more courses in, in college. Um, so that's one program. But another thing that is another best kept secret is our dual enrollment in our dual credit courses. Okay. okay. As I mentioned earlier, we have about 60, 65,000 
um, high school students that are duly uh, enrolled or take dual credits while they're in high school Ivy Tech classes. Uh, what does that mean? That mm -hmm. means we're in over 425 high schools and career centers across the state and wow. students are allowed to take Ivy Tech courses for free while they're in high school. Um, I love that word. For free while they're <laughs> in high school. All parents should love that word. Exactly. And so what happens with that? Well, if you take um, a certain amount of courses in a certain way, you can graduate high school with your associate's degree. And that also means once you graduate from high school and you flip the tassel to the other side, you're flipping the tassel with your associate's degree and you can go on and get your four-year bachelor's wow. degree in two years because you've already completed two years um, uh, of those credits. I think we need to pause and say that again because <laughs> I think there's not enough parents out there who know this, that your child can actually graduate with an associate's degree when they graduate high school. And then for only free. do t for free and only do two more years of college for their bachelor's degree, and that cost will be significantly, significantly reduced. Significantly reduced. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And say, okay, you know, I don't necessarily want to get uh, an associate's de degree while I'm in high school. I just want to get a certification in dental hygiene or um, welding or um, some sort of IT course. Um, you can do that as well. So you don't have to necessarily get an associate's degree. You can still get certified in different mm -hmm. areas while you're still in high school. Um, and then as we think about that affordability um, piece, if you're doing it for free in high school and you graduate from high school, you're already well on your way to a high demand, high wage job. Yes. Um, if you go on our website, ivytech.edu, um, Right on our main website, we have this thing called Programs of Wills. It looks like wills. Of, it looks like Wheel of Fortune. Okay. And you click on a program. So, say dental hygiene, for example. You click that. Um, it tells you what are the classes that you need to take for dental hygiene. How long is it going to take you to um, get your credential? And then, what is uh, the average um, wages for a dental hygienist in your particular area? Right. Mm -hmm. So. Um, students nowadays, they don't want to just go to college to say I went to college. No, they don't. Right? <laughs> they want to go because they want to make money, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. They want to ensure that whatever degree that they get, they're going to be able to make um, a living to support their family. Um, so we want to make sure, even on our website as we, as we are, um, you know, with our program of wheels, that we have um, lots of information there for folks um, to make those uh, correct decisions for themselves. Thank you. Now I wanted to go back to the, was it IVYT? Mm -hmm. What age, do you know what age group that is? What grade level? Is it all high school students? So or? this is the bridge program. Yes. So after you graduate from high school. So if you are a 2021 high school graduate, you just okay. graduated last week or this week or whenever, this is the summer bridge okay. program between that. Okay, cool. Just wanted to clarify that mm -hmm. so people may have questions. Now I want to kind of pivot to you and your role. Mm -hmm. So you are the VP, Vice President of Diversity, Equity, and Belonging for Ivy Tech. So what does that mean and what is equity, uh, what does equity truly mean for your institution? Yeah, I get this question a lot. You know, what do you do in diversity, equity, and belonging? What does that truly mean? Well, um, I would just say my number one job is to ensure that all of our students, our staff, our faculty, and the community have access and opportunity to the services that we provide at Ivy Tech. So that is any and everything, mm -hmm. right? So as I look at um, our student data, for example, 52% um, of all black students who go to higher education, they come to Ivy Tech. Wow. 42% wow. of all students of color come to Ivy Tech. Wow. So we have an obligation really to ensure that our students, especially our most marginalized students mm -hmm. and our minoritized students, um, have those same opportunities um, as, as other students, right? Mm -hmm. So as we think about um, our completion rates, our graduation rates, um, our student success rates, I'm measuring to see what does that look like across the board. Mm -hmm. And if we see that there's disparities, then we need to address it. We need to be intentional about addressing those disparities. So for example, if we're looking at our retention rates, um, and one of the biggest goals of, uh, of what I'm really working to is to eliminate those equity gaps, right? So mm -hmm. if, we, if we see that there is a 10%, I'm just making this up in the moment, 10% gap between our white students versus our students of color graduating on time, 
then that's a problem, right? Mm -hmm. We shouldn't just be like, well, that's that's what it is. No, we need to ensure that we're doing everything that we can to eliminate any barriers that are in place, um, whether those are barriers that we've created mm -hmm. uh, unintentionally, um, barriers that are happening because of just life. Mm -hmm. um, how can we, you know, if, if students are saying, hey, I'm not graduating or I'm not getting to class because I, you know, my tire I didn't have the babysitter or the babysitter. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to mm -hmm. get you a babysitter. Mm -hmm. We're going to pay for your um, your 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 child care fees for the next month, right? Wow, we're that's awesome. eliminating any wow, and all barriers that that, awesome. that are coming into people's uh, lives because we know that that that's important. That is very important. That is awesome. I mean, that is truly Ivy Tech saying we we really value and we're really putting our money where our mouths are. Yeah, and you belong here. Mm -hmm. That is belonging for sure. Yes. <laughs> well, Denisha, I thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. I've learned so much about Ivy Tech, things I didn't know. You reinforced my belief that it's very valuable to, to Indiana uh, in general. And so I hope people actually go and go to the website. Can Please. you say the website one more time? www.ivytech.edu. Thank you so much.